A police sweep in one of Karachi's slums in search of suspected fighters hiding in the narrow alleys. It's part of an ongoing operation against criminals in the city. More than 20 million people are estimated to be living here in Pakistan's largest city. Police say this search was successful. Weapons were found and six suspects arrested. In the last few years, many Taliban fighters have come to Karachi after military operations against them in Pakistan's north. The largest populations outside of tribal people from Swat, South and North Waziristan are in Karachi. They have the highest numbers of Taliban fighters. They come here and become guests of family and relatives and hosts make it easier for them to find support. Law-abiding Pashtun citizens are often helpless in the face of incomers who use intimidation and who exploit cultural loyalties. And policing is all the more difficult, as the usual crime fighting carries the extra burden of counter-terrorism operations. But corruption within law enforcement agencies is helping criminals. Many people simply don't trust policemen, and the Taliban know it. To an extent it's true that Karachi is the economic hub for the Taliban. Extortion is easy. You can make $5,000 with a few threatening phone calls to a businessman who doesn't want any trouble. The Taliban have moved to kidnapping from extortion. Our assessment of the last 8 to 10 months is that they've generated over $1.2 million in ransom alone. Taliban and other groups generate millions of dollars from this city. Besides kidnappings and extortion, they also force their hosts to make donations and provide places to hide. And that's where Karachi's police is struggling to control them. Police say the slums where Taliban have support are difficult to penetrate. Densely populated houses and narrow alleyways make it hard to chase targets. Many informants and security personnel working undercover have been killed. Not many of us are left willing to fight the menace, especially when it comes to your family. Many in the force don't care about sacrificing themselves, but when it comes to their families, not everyone is willing to risk it all. To help on the front line in tracing and prosecuting criminals, police officers are calling for specialized training. But unless they can improve their image among people who can provide the necessary intelligence, resources alone won't be enough to face the complex threats facing one of the world's most populous cities. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera, Karachi.